Today I'm I'm going to show you how to create group in your within your uh, within the participant of your course. So after you have logged into your course, you need to scroll down and look for the administration panel. Under the course administration, there's a user. Click on it. Okay. And then you'll find your groups. So click on the groups. So in this case, I have about 40, stu uh, 40 students or participants in your course. So I want to make five groups randomly so what I can do is just click on this button auto create groups okay. so just now I say I want to have five groups so you can create groups based on the member per group or the number of groups so I need to five group and then just click submit so now you see I have five group and each group have seven to eight students okay so this is how you can create group easily by using this auto create groups function in other occasion maybe you want to uh, rather than randomly assign the student to a group you want to create a group with a particular uh, number of student so what you can do so I just remove the group that we created just now so now I want to create two group and each group consists of the lectures from each faculty so what I can do is just select this button click on this button create group So the first group, let's say the lecture from FSSA. Okay. So I need to give a name for the group and then set changes. Okay. So now you can see we, we don't have any student here. Then the next one is to create a second group. So this time I want to make create a group for BBIB lectures so I just set changes so now I have two groups so the next thing I need to do is just select a group go to the on your right hand side you can see add and remove user just click on it so now I can add or remove user for the FSSA group so let's say I select this one add ok you can add one lecture at a time or one student at a time or you can just hold on your control key and then select several lectures okay. then you can after you have add the members to the group, then you can back to groups, click on this button, and move to the PPIP group. Similarly, you need to go to your right hand side, add and remove user, click on it, and then select.
a member for the group and add to your group, BBIB group. And then click back to the groups. Yeah, so now you can see we have two groups and each group have six lectures that are selected for the list of the participant in this course. So that's all about grouping of the students.